blizzard warning means you're going to have winds of 35 miles an hour plus snow, and that snow is going to reduce visibility down to less than a quarter of a mile for more than three hours. Now, you take a winter storm, you still can get some of those elements. You can get the winds, but they will not be as strong. You will get the snow, and you will also get maybe another form of precipitation, being freezing rain, sleet, or ice. Um, one of the biggest dangers from a blizzard is wind chills and snow causing reduced visibility. Uh, we've had numerous huge winter storms over the years going back into the 1800s and of course way even before then, but all of them have two factors. They create conditions where folks cannot travel and they create wind chills that can take lives. Well, the perfect recipe is just doing some pre-planning before they happen. I think the number one thing we always tell folks is have a winter survival kit at the ready, whether it's in the car or at home. Be prepared should the power go out, for example, or maybe you're out in your car and you get stranded somewhere. All too often nowadays with technology, if you do get stranded, we all have cell phone devices we can usually reach out, but uh, now in winter survival kits versus 10 to 15 years ago, one of the things you need to pack with that cell phone is a charger or some way of an emergency charger should you run out of battery. You want to make sure you have something emergency wise that can let people know where you're at. Uh, that can be something like a red flag for example, that can be some kind of marker tape just so folks can find you out in a blizzard and also find some way to keep yourself warm, pack blankets in an emergency survival kit, pack, al pack along some non-perishable food and just be ready. Nowadays, I think there's less and less folks stranded on the roads, but uh, if you ever do get caught, stay with your vehicle, don't walk away from it. I think of three areas in the U.S. where I think about where blizzards or winter storms do occur. It's the Great Plains, it's the Great Lakes, and it's the Northeast. Um, the Northern Plains, though, has had some tremendous blizzards over the years. Uh, one of them being in 1966. That was a monstrous blizzard that it went on to affect not only just the Northern Plains, but the East Coast as well. Uh, that system alone killed more than 140,000 animals, uh, being from livestock all the way to uh, poultry and into sheep. Uh, that was a storm of record that hit much of the Eastern U.S. Well, there is a blizzard that was named the White Hurricane. It occurred back in the year of 1913, and that caused over 250 deaths. But of recent history, I think a lot of us are more familiar with the Superstorm of 93, which of course brought Times Square to a screeching halt because of the snow. Uh, you think about Snowmageddon in, uh, getting in DC, which paralyzed them with over 32 inches of snow. And then very recently, you think about uh, that storm in Chicago that shut down Lake Michigan traffic and that one produced over 22 inches in Chicago, one of their top five snowstorms in history.